We head back to the infant and primary school expositions at the National School Science and Technology Fair as we continue to profile the ideas of young science students. We begin now with the Anglican Infant School. Shama Poyot talks to us about healthy snacks made locally. Scientists love mysteries. They love not knowing. Not knowing. I don't feel frightened by not knowing things. I think it's much more interesting. My name is Shamara Poyot. I am in grade 2. I attend the Anglican Infant School. The name of my project is Local Healthy Snacks. Many of us come to school with unhealthy snacks such as sweet biscuits, potato chips, lollipops and other kinds of unhealthy snacks. We decided that we should make some local healthy snacks because to make people healthy and not unhealthy. First we use kale, it's almost like lettuce. We use carrots, the kale and carrot chips, the dashing pone, we use cherry, raisins and margarine, arrowroot flour, water, sugar and we use dashing and coconut, the dashing came from my teacher's father's garden and my class helped us make it, we did it on our own, only for the fire, we, we had a little help from our teacher. It tastes good and the kale tastes good too. My name is Tanya Francis. My school name is Temple at Louisie Primary School. Our project is a mathematics bingo game. My name is Marie Therese St. Clair. And I attend the Dimple at Louisi Primary School. And the name of my project is Maths Bingo. The project is about Maths Bingo. And our school had a science fair, and each class had to present a mathematics or science project. Our class chose a mathematics bingo game. We chose mathematics bingo because our teacher always plays bingo with us and and we you can learn many concepts playing this game like basic addition subtraction partitioning of fractions and partitioning of sets they should have a caller and two to six players or the whole class can play you learn math from us bingo because bingo makes, makes learning math easier so the mathematics terms that you can work out on paper, you can add it to the your book, and you you have your pencil to write down the answer. And if you have the answer, you can put it on the answer and the correct letter. And the correct letter. My name is Melanie Evans, and this school is both Aquas Combined School, and this is. Um, my friend Capria Venson and so the game is called Number Go. My name is Capriel Venson. Our project is called Number Go. I'll tell you why we ha we have to play the game. That because we have problems learning. We have addition facts, subtraction facts and number names. First choose a caller. I will be the caller. Say the pattern to be played. L number go, Z number go, and N number go, top row number go, bottom row number go, win anyway number go, full house number go. My name is Daniel Charles. I'm from Dengri Primary School, and my project is about sensors on the boundary line in cricket. The whole idea of the project is to help the food empire make a better decision. Because over the past over the past years the food empire had difficulty saying whether it was whether the project was a four or out. So if a ball shifts the if the if a ball shifts the rope, the light will come on telling the food empire something touches the rope. Or if a filler foot shifts the rope it will also come on. It will just it will make the umpires 
uh, the umpire's decision much better and so the players cannot teach. I got this idea from from a football because the football the football goal line uses the laser sensors. The quest for the truth in and of itself is a story that's filled with insights. This is Calabash Community, still ahead, the floating bridge project submitted by the Blasha Combine School.